that had been under 10 to 12 feet of water for as long as three weeks. May have been an, an 84 year old woman who literally just lost everything that she had owned. The guys told of, of finding the flag that was on her husband's casket. Or what you're really helping her do is find her past. I can't tell you how proud I am of them as just young people. It'd be hard not to meet Emily because she's just everywhere. She had a cause that she was passionate about. She brought the whole campus into it. It's a great cause, the Invisible Children campaign. And um, I know that she'll be involved in that and other, other important issues. I got to take a compassion seminar where we'd study people like Mother Teresa and Gandhi and Nelson Mandela. It was a beautiful introduction to our school. And I feel like our generation has, like, we want to help. We've been told over and over again about terrorism and poverty and global warming. We all want to stand up for what's right. I saw a movie about the Civil War in northern Uganda, and over 50,000 children have been affected in this war. I think that we all want to be activists, so when I say, do you want to have a sewing party for Africa, then these like 30 fraternity guys will sit and sew hats for five hours. These big guys would learn how to sew to help the children of Africa. Do you want to hear how my parents met? So my dad was kind of hanging out, and his friend Bill was picking up this girl for a date in front of Grossmont Hall. My mom had seen my dad around campus and just had kind of had a little crush on him, and they pulled up on their motorcycles. And sure enough, my dad said, oh, do you want to go for a ride? And away they flew into the sunset. It's very cheesy, but I love it. It's very exciting to me that at the Centennial, we, we do have a new president. He's really getting to know Redlands which to me is, is a big part of those traditions, of upholding those traditions. And then with a new spirit like him to be able to take it into the future. One of the refrains that I've heard time and again is I came to Redlands, Redlands changed my life. So there's been a lot of structural change to the campus, but there's a heart to the university that hasn't changed. There's a core here that core purpose, which is to be transformational in students' lives. That has been really part of our history, whether they be 18 to 22 years old, or whether they be 35 years old and rolling in our programs in education or in the School of Business. Anything that you're a part of that lives beyond you and lived before you, yeah, I think gives you a perspective of being part of something greater than yourself. Disney is that. University of Redlands is that. If you can dream it, you can do it. You know, that Disney phrase makes a big difference to these kids at Redlands. It made a big difference to me. I'm proud to be a part of an institution that is a legend in its own time. A dream is a wish your heart I think that idea of dreaming big or imagining big really played out in a lot of my academic work. Thinking about the world as a great complexity, as a number of issues and ideas, religions, political beliefs, personal values, ethics, morals, all bouncing off of each other. It taught me to not just think of the world from one isolated perspective, but to open my ears and open my eyes and open my mind. And every situation I encounter now, just six months out from graduating, I really try to honor all the complexities and not just look at it through one lens. And I think that's gonna be a great tool, a great skill to be able to use my entire life. From the moment you get there, you're taught to dream big. And you're taught to dream big, not just for what you're doing in Redlands, but to dream big for your entire life. To dream big for the people you become friends with and the communities that you build while you're at Redlands to really dream big for the world. And it's that dreaming big, that imagining, that is one of the most important things in, in this world right now.